So, Cathy, what's your vision for developing the Nielsen User Satisfaction Survey? Well, as, as you know, in our contract we have to have a customer satisfaction survey and over the years I've really struggled to do, produce something that I think is really worthwhile. And so when Anna approached me to be involved in this project, I saw it as a, a really good opportunity uh, to um, do something worthwhile. Um, and in reading the literature, I found that there's a lot of evidence that says that the customers' um, health outcomes can be related to their um, satisfaction with their healthcare provider. Mm, interesting. So how are you actually going to do this, Kath? What kind of questions are you going to ask? Well, my focus has been, in, as we hear the catchphrase, we need to move from a product-centred business into a patient-centred care. It's about looking at patient satisfaction. So it's not so much about where your shop is and what you do, but actually how your customers perceive your service. Mm, interesting. In a practical way, how are the questions actually going to be developed? Well, I've started developing a survey that I'm testing on my customers, looking more at the professional side of our business and the services we're offering. And then we're working with Nielsen to develop these questions into a, a form that's quick and easy for our customers to be able to answer, that only should take about five minutes. And they can either enter um, by postal or uh, online and the beauty for pharmacy is that you'll get the response back that measures you against your pharmacy. Sounds great. If, if a pharmacy wants to enter the awards and pick up on this valuable research, what's the next step? What do they, um, do? they need to enter um, and entries close on the 1st of January, uh, 31st of January, so it's really important to uh, get in touch with uh, Pro Pharma or your local wholesaler and they will be able to tell you what the process is for entry. Um, the other good thing is I'm not making this up all by myself and we do have an advisory group of pharmacists and a consumer representative from around New Zealand that will help us just make sure we're on the right track. Sounds great. So in terms of the Pharmacy Awards, how, how does this fit in with your vision? Um, I was lucky to be involved in a focus group where you were looking at restructuring the Pharmacy Awards and the key feeling I felt that all pharmacies should have the opportunity to be able to enter these awards. So this is about good community pharmacists doing the simple things of looking after their customers the best.